All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I'm in the house with uh, Chris Reeve Knives Mandy uh, in carbon fiber and basket weave Damascus blade here for a quick maintenance uh, review. Uh, but hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content uh, over here. So this is a beautiful knife, guys. Uh, there's not much to improve. Just want to show you how you take this guy down. Um, there is not uh, much uh, action to improve because there's not much action. I mean, this is running on washer, so it's not a flipper, it's not a, a drop shoddy or anything. So just uh, let's just do it. Uh, you start from uh, uh, unscrewing the back uh, uh, screw of the handle and uh, this comes off and also the pocket clip comes off. And uh, uh, then you have just one screw here from the back which is the pivot you're gonna notice that the standoff just comes out and that's the pivot uh, screw coming out as well and you're pretty much done uh, right over here uh, so make sure that the blade is centered when you pull it out uh, like so and you are good to go so you're gonna have uh, just to wiggle a little bit um, because the tolerances are pretty tight. There you go. So that's done. Uh, you're gonna need uh, maybe a little bit of uh, alcohol. Um, I'm using this uh, uh, cloth to just to clean up uh, the inside of the scales, like so. You can clean the outside as well from any gunk uh, left. So that is one, uh, you have some on this side of the scale as well. And the inside, nicely blasted by the way, around the stop pin. And that is uh, uh, also done. We can do the inside of the pivot as well, like so, around the pivot. Very good. And also, we can just clean gently, make sure you don't bend anything uh, for the washers. So just like so. There you go. And let's also do the tang of the blade. Nicely done. Then it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna have to uh, remember that the, uh, there's two um, uh, washers. Just give it a little bit of shake uh, to the uh, grease uh, that is being uh, provided. Sometimes there's some watery um, liquid coming out. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's normal. So just use a little bit, just gently like so. See, that's already plenty. Just spread that around, twist the blade, uh, flip the blade and just a little bit on the back as well. All around like so. So that is done. You can put this away. And uh, just remember to use uh, the uh, bigger washer on the show side and the smaller washer on the lock side. And just make sure that the bushing pivot is aligned with uh, the two washers, okay? And then this can stay here. Then we are going to uh, put this guy back together. Let me just clean a little bit underneath here. We don't want any residue. Uh, so you're gonna have uh, this guy. You're gonna need uh, your backspacer. Uh, this is lock side. So we're gonna have the uh, clip over here, which by the way is reversible. You can use the clip on both sides of the knife and like that. So align it, flip it. And you can use this screw to make sure that the knife is like this. Okay. So, and there's going to be a little bit of wiggle room over here. So very, very nicely uh, because the tolerances are so tight in Chris Reeve. So you can just wiggle a tiny bit, this one, you know, with your thumb and then have this 
blade in and then you can release and make sure that the blade goes in like so okay so make sure that from the top you don't see any gap and then you're gonna have this uh, pivot which needs to be aligned of course like so and uh, uh, it's going to be something like pushing as you wiggle the blade so to find the right uh, spot which in this case is this all right then next step is to align uh, the uh, actual pivot the Chris Reeve knives logo you see it's not perfectly aligned so in order to do that I'm just gonna keep pinching this guy like so and I'm already seeing that uh, there is a gap here now so uh, in this case let's try to rotate put the pivot screw on the back and then like so and then I'm gonna try to push it out like so and rotating from this side until it's uh, aligned let's see see now it, it is aligned and I'm gonna push this down and I'm gonna just squeeze it over here and I'm just gonna make sure that this screw over here is tightened so checking for blade centering it's not which means oh yeah which means I didn't uh, uh, press enough so it's gonna need to be removed the pivot screw like that you can just push the pin outside or if it doesn't want to go you can take advantage of this and just push it on that that way out so this one can come out and this one can come out as well and we can see what is going on okay so we can see that the bushing pivot it was not lined up perfectly so the tolerances are so tight that needs to be perfect as I said so I made a mistake not perfect so just squeeze this guy a little bit more and make sure that this guy goes in absolutely perfectly like so and wiggle give it a wiggle like so and let's check for the hole to be aligned like so and now we should be in business okay so same thing you put it from the back and make sure that this is lined up up to say this point push it down keep it tight and now you're in business you see blade is centered uh, we can check uh, for uh, tightness here which is good we can check for tightness here that's fine lock up a little bit uh, no it's pretty much dead center so uh, just give it a little bit of a twist so it's uh, going to be done so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned